So just recently, I played in a massive 128 player tournament hosted by Spoon Oil, Battles to Twitch streamer, and with big names in the tournament that you might recognize such as Boltrix, Lukian, Ryan Mihalik, and of course myself. But on top of that, it includes most of the top players in the Hall of Masters. So compared to the last content creator tournament I played, the level of play is going to be much, much higher. And probably one of the highest we've seen in any Battle 2 bracket. I should know before we get into things here that this will be split into two parts, which might be a bit of a spoiler about how far I got. But just to let you know after you finish this one, stay tuned for part 2 coming really soon. And now on to explain the bracket. So basically how it works is that it's a best of one group stage to start. So the 128 goes down to 32 players. So you have to win your first two matches in order to advance to the double elim stage. That's when the final 32 play in a double elim bracket with loser's bracket. They should update in a second, but yeah, Marax wins didn't show up. So I'm going to be moving on against Not David. Not sure how good he is, but I guess we'll find out in the second round. Too bad we couldn't get a game in to warm up. So I randomized the map and this is what I got, guys. If you look carefully, it is the map boards. So a reminder that there are no bans for this tournament, so we can use any strategy we want. Therefore, I must use the best strategy that I know. And okay, apparently this is not David. Okay, he has a top 100 badge last season. So this is actually not really, a, quote unquote, an easy game, <laughs> as you see. Well, I see the open. I'm, I wonder if it's going to be a mirror match. This is the uh, strategy I guess I have to be most confident in, which is pretty much meta for this map. All right, here we go. Again, if we uh, make it through, we get to the group stage where we're allowed to drop a game, but lose this one and it's over. So let's see. Oh, it's an ace mirror. Goddamn. This is not good because, uh, well, the strategy's too good in this map. But we'll see if anyone, you know, dies to it, any choke rushes or anything like that. Yep, it's pretty much gonna be the exact same, I think, early game here. And almost assure you of that. So what happens again when there's no bans? People will just pick the uh, the meta loadout. Including myself. Luckily, I did get good practice on this map uh, last season. I learned some things that I should do and shouldn't do with uh, Ace, Alk, and Sub. All right, here come the whites, so uh, I gotta do the following. Just stay an extra Ace for uh, clean up here. I'll do some myself. Yep, we're both doing the same Ace strategy, guys. The optimal strat. It's gonna be pretty boring for the start here. He's going for number Rifts round seven, I see. I personally will just stick with the following. Because I don't think you need this till at least round nine, so I can perhaps out eagle him. Alright. Zebra time. I'm gonna sell now, I guess, for uh, the following. Might have over ecoed a slight bit, but I don't think he'll try anything here. Yeah, alright. Back to ecoing it is. Again, mirror match both sides. Nothing too interesting so far. I'm gonna drop my ace over here, so I'll send one FMO about. Just to see what he does. I think I see the exact same thing coming out. Yep. Instant fighter plane. One should be enough, honestly. Right? I hope I'm not miscalculating this. Nah, nah, this is definitely enough. I'll just move my ace. There we go. No, <laughs> he's literally just copying the exact placement. Let me just send the following. I might have sent this a bit late. Ah, uh, yeah, it didn't really work. I tried the layer Riga rainbows, but that's obviously not going to work. Let's try the following. I got a trick up my sleeve. Uh, here's an FBFB. I just watch Reesus, right? Alright. This should be enough. Right? Alright, yes sir, yes sir. I don't know why I'm saying purples, by the way. My eco's not so hot, though. Only 2,500. That FBP was pretty good value by him. He got me to slow down just a little bit. Oh, also. I might have sent this a bit late. The, uh, fortified... Yeah. I don't know why I sent them so late. I should have layered it on the... The regrows. But that's fine. Can I even afford... Sky Shredder? This is not a good spot for it, by the way. I put it way too far to the right. Should I remove it and then buy, get a new spot? That would be so much money for me. Yeah, I'm gonna remove it. I'm gonna get a better spot for my ODS right here. I'm also just gonna stop e ecoing entirely. I think he's over ecoing here. Let me just waste some money here.
Wait. He's just gonna first strike spam. Come on. GG. Nice. GG. Wow, he over EQ like crazy. I had I, I had to go for this, the DTs because I know he can afford Sky Shredder. GG. Pretty boring game, but you know that's how the Ace Mirror is. Hopefully now with the first game out of the way, the nerves are a bit lessened. Now we move on to the group stage. Okay, so here is the um, group stage. So it becomes best best of three starting over here. Do I get a buy also? Okay, apparently because of no shows, there are only 24 people who advance to the group stage. Or the uh, double elim stage. So I guess I get a buy for the first round. And then my opponent is whoever wins this match. Unoptional versus Hubu. Okay, so Hubu just 2 0 Unoptional. So we're up against him now. You know, BO3. I think I played against him a lot of times in ranked. Pretty good player. The map has been randomized and uh, it is a new map. Building site. In fact, he's the one I played in the uh, recent update video on building site and uh, E1. Friendly reminder again, this is a best of three. So if I lose, I can pick the map. If uh, he loses, he picks the map. And I pretty much only know one strategy here. So we gotta pray. It works. Good luck. Yeah, this is the hardest map, so it's not gonna get past round 20 most likely. Okay, I'm gonna do some layer lay layering here early. Just get some lives off. Put some pressure on. We get Biker Bones in the next eco boost, by the way. More space balloons. Actually, I think I, sh I shouldn't have done it that early. My bad. You have to wait one more eco boost. My bad. I actually lost eco from doing that, but that's fine. I guess I'll play the uh, I Have More Lives game. Here come the space greens. I'm just gonna go for Blacia early. Like that. I should be fine to these leaks here, right? Yeah, just a little bit. There's the early farm. Yep. Not surprised. It's probably a mirror match as well. Oh, I missed the farm. GG. Missed the $40 from the start of the round. That's gonna suck. Yeah, he's going for the pink suit to be super annoying. Fine, I'll burn my biker ability early. Instant white balloons. I want to put some pressure on immediately. You boost it against. Uh, I used to use biker ability here. Ah, that's gonna hurt though. Dang. That was a good boost. That was a good boom boost. Needed the 2 3 0 instantly. Now I'm behind in lives. And probably eco. I think he's gonna go for yellows next round. That's why he's not sending anything. Oh, wait, he's not. Never mind. I'm gonna do it myself, by the way. Let's boost against. Okay, yeah, just got double attack. It's okay again. We probably don't use all boost, bloom boost anyways. Come on. Ugh. Gonna leak a little more here? Dang, this sucks. Let's do the following. Boosted zebras and purples. Okay, that didn't do anything either. Dang it. Where's his camo? Uh, sir? Oh, crap. No! Oh my god. It didn't stun. Oh, it, it didn't decamo. GG. That happens. Just one set of purples, man. He, he dropped down at 9 lives. That was really close. On both sides. Well, GG. 1-0 to him. Alright, so I picked the map now, right? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What do I want to pick? You know what? I gotta pull out for this journey. Let's do Santa time. Santa time, guys. You know the strategy I'm running. If you've seen my Sans games. I gotta pull out a bit of a riskier strategy here. The NG SPAC. Go big or go home. Again, if we lose, we still drop in the loser bracket. We're not, we're not gone completely. It's not risky. I practice a lot. Well, the thing is, it's still risky defending the all-outs in the mid-game. Like, I think I have it mostly covered, but occasionally uh, I might, like, uh, miscalculate a little bit and then lose. Like, you have to be on point with the defending. Don't over-defend, don't under-defend. Which is pretty hard with Engie's back. I think this game is stall enough that I can get my try without having to boost here. Which is huge. So, just, uh, nine more seconds. I've calculated. Two more boosts. And I'm good here. So, let's get it. There we go. Let's put this on close. For now. And he's still gonna send whites out because, uh, I can... Actually, no, he's gonna stop. Alright. So, let's let it collect and then move it over. That now is good. 
There we go. Let's get the farm down before round five ends. Nice. Got 40 bucks. You know, I probably should send black loons. Why am I not doing that? It loses me eco, but I have to force out Churchill ability. Like that. And then I'll send it out again, so he's forced to buy more defense. I kind of played that a bit on autopilot there. But that's okay. Okay, there's ninja. Okay. Hmm. Do I try to get things through that? Let's try three sets. Two sets. I doubt it works, though. Yeah, not really. It's unstrong. That's good enough. He forced him. Maybe Rico Blacks? Nah. Ice from Ninja? Yeah, that's a strategy. Very interesting. Oh, also, I just realized. Bruh. It is not in the right spot. That is my bad. That is my bad. I'll send Zebras out, right? Zebras are really good against, uh... What do you call it? Ninja. There's, uh... Turbo damage. Oh, he doesn't have for round 11. Careful. He doesn't have for round 11. Turbo damage. Just a couple sets. Or Scrap Cannon. I might have gone a little bit further. Okay, no, it's fine. We got literally everything out of him. Okay. There we go. Try me. There's Zebras. I'll just buy... Oh, here it is. Close call. Alright. Is he all in? Oh, he's just reading. Okay. I'll upgrade that farm. So, I didn't force any farm cell. That's good. I only stole these factory. For trap 2. And no boost either. So, which is even better for me. So, I'm happy with this so far. I should remember to keep selling sentries. Just don't forget... Or don't accidentally sell Azealia. That would be very fatal. Should we send some whites and zebras out? Okay. Let's do a little bit. No? No, he has the minigun. That, that, that basically... Uh, Pops the uh, things. Although, I definitely should send balloons out. That's a really weak weak defense right now. Granted, he is, he's fully money right now because he's he's saving up for the uh, central market, right? Although, maybe I should just force it out. Here we go. I'm going to do a sprockets. This is just to do mob damage, by the way. I know, it's really weird, weird defense, but trust me. I totally planned this out. Let me move the... Trap on top, come on. Let's see the sick plays. Let's do some Rieger... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'll do some Rieger Rainbows. Layered with, uh... Purples. Just to see if it gets through Icicles at all. No? Okay. That was a waste. That was not good. F-Mope time. Let me actually just read. In the meantime... Oh, I didn't mean- Oh my god, I didn't go for it. I didn't mean to go for that. <laughs> GG. I can probably tank this with a trap. Trust. Watch this, guys. This factory eats it up. Like that. I'll go for an FBFB, I think, next round. That might force out a lot. Come on. Got the central market. Nice. So, I'll get some good end around from here. FBP. So I forced out Sticky Bomb. I wonder if I should do anything else. I wonder if a ZMG is worth it as well. Although I probably shouldn't be pressuring so hard. If I'm not sure I can defend. Let me send some ra rainbows. Force defense out. Perhaps. Boost against. Come on, get through! Ah. Nice ice shards. Nice ice shards clutch. Well played there. Well played. Oh, what's this? ZMG, okay. I can go for Hex. Is he all laning? How much do I have for XXXL? Oh my god, I should just... I gotta XXXL this. I think I should. Absolutely. I'm not defending this. This cost him 20k to send out, by the way. So it's not the worst thing that will if I... Do indeed not go for it. Let me do... Wait. Oh, he didn't get Wall Street. He didn't get Wall Street. That's a GG. He just bought Impale, also. I don't- Okay, I don't kill him here, but that's fine. Okay. Let's just, again, take it slow. Let 
All right, one more eco boost. There we go. Sold a lot for it, but again, I get I get 5k from this trap. Easy. Easy money right here. So I can build back. Solid defense. He didn't get his Wall Street, though. He he, he messed up the, the, the timing. The, the money there. So, uh, let me see what I should do. He's good for 20, 26 DDTs, I think. Round 26. So I don't think I should try those at all. I think I'll go for this because I can collect from the trap. You know what? Let me just manually, manually reflect. It takes so long to get money from the trap. I hate it. Let's get a pre-placed Spike Storm, by the way, as well. We should go for four foams. This basically almost guarantees we decamo everything, by the way. Uh, does he have ice coals? He does not. Let me send one set of tight ceramics out. He gets Arctic Wind. Do I send anything? He can't He can't defend a bat, I, I don't think. So I should just wait for that. Should I play to that one condition? Because I think I should. Absolutely. Now listen, I don't think he defends this. That's why I'm going to send just one out. And hopefully, I can defend whatever he has sent out at me. All right, so just one F, one one bad. Ah, oh, crap! It's an, it's a Noah bad. Hmm. I don't know if I can defend this actually. I'm a bit short. I think mine gets ahead first, right? Should I really try to defend this? I think I should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. I can, I can pop this, I can pop this. Just be careful of the all-out. Wait for it. Come on. I don't have enough money for this, by the way. Uh, tight ceramics, tight ceramics, okay. Come on. Uh, more tight ceramics, more tight ceramics, okay. This defends. This defends. GG. I think. Nice. Oof. Long and tough game, but and he's back. Now we have to await his his uh his game his his map pick, which is probably gonna be the strongest map, but we'll see what we can do. Why don't we pick Council Ruins? That's uh that's a choice. Well, I don't really have a strategy for this map, guys. It's gonna be D5, but it got nerfed, so I really gotta know how to play the mid game properly with the strategy. So, good luck. They're not possibly going for Druid, right? Nah, Darling. Darling open, eh? Interesting. Oh, uh. uh, reconnecting. My internet seems fine here. Uh, wait, what? Uh, we have to rematch this, right? Uh... What the hell? I just lost 100 lives. For no reason. Ubu said rematch? Okay. Take your word for it. Yeah, he stopped sending. Okay, cool. We'll do a rematch. So now I have to remake the match because he had problems, so... I am now on the left side. Not that it matters. It's again a mirror. It's a mirror map. There's no side advantage. Unless you're used to that side, I guess. Okay, so let's do a couple of blue layers layered with yellows. See if anything works against that. Not really, nah. Yeah, let's just go for my power darts now. Like that. So I'm gonna greet this extra farm here. Farm upgrade. Hopefully, I don't suffer because of it. So we're just gonna spam white balloons. Force him to buy uh, the thingy up. I'll just buy mine early as well. Actually, he didn't buy it up yet. God damn it. He needs to buy O2 O O22. Otherwise, I keep sending balloons out. Come on, upgrade already. He's gonna force me to keep losing money with these inferior sends. There we go. Took long enough. Regrow black balloons? Okay. Now I just drop another darling gun. And I should be fine here. With following. Yeah, I'm good. Nice try, nice try. I'll buy O2 too. He's really going high eco here, isn't he? Well. Let's do regrow zebras. He will struggle this. I will not. I will not. Wait. Okay, fine. Hard stopper. What the hell, man? I think he's trying to go for the early kill, round 11. He's going for it. Zebras? Wait, what? Okay, boost for a boost. 
He is not going for uh, Hydro Rocket Pods. Eh? There it is. Okay, he has no boost though on the Hydro Rocket Pods. Actually, it might be up soon. Do we try? Yeah, we try. This will force out a lot of defense. Yep, he sold everything. Uh, he has to boost that as well. Okay. Five thousand dollars for totem. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, no boost for this, right? Nope, no boost, no boost. Fog. This is his last boost, by the way, if he has to boost here. GG. GG? GG. Well played. Well played. And with that, we are moving on to, uh, I believe, round three, which is uh, the final eight of the tourney, uh, at least on the top side of the bracket. So let me just show you here, folks. So I'm up against I'm Lost coming up. He is, uh, I think a, he, he ranked top 10 last season, right? I think so. So again, the, the opponents get tougher and tougher and tougher the further we go. So this will be another doozy. So the first map apparently is uh, Forts. So well, there's only one thing I can do here. And as you can see again, he's finished top 10 last two seasons. So yeah, it's going to be a toughie. But we shall see. How this goes. Same map, but he's way better. Yeah. I wonder if he's going to do what Ace, or is he still going to run Druid Farm Sub? Druid. Okay. I'm actually pretty happy with this. I think I can beat Druids on this map with Ace Eco. Yeah, he's got Lightning now. Yeah, I think he's fine until round 5. Awesome. He leads a pretty good, good amount of lives, too. 55, 54. Yeah, I don't think Space Yells get through. The Lightning is too good when max buffed. I don't know about pinks, but it's probably not worth it, I don't think, just to lose a few lives. Only round 5, it, it's going to start to be worth it. Okay, so round 5 instantly. Go for whites. Four sets. You'll probably have rambles drop by then, but... You'll have to buy a Druid of Wrath for this. Unless he wants to die. Okay. It's down about 20 lives or so, that's pretty... It's pretty rough, eh? I don't know if yellows get through the uh, max light. No, it doesn't. But, again, I'm just going to eco for this, so it's fine. Yeah, I think that's good enough. I don't want to go too aggressive this game. Although, maybe I should. I'll do Space Purple now. Apparently, the, the same efficiency as uh, the uh, group blues. Pretty close. And this actually puts pressure on him, too. So, that's better for me. Like, this might force him, yeah, to buy this up early. Just in case. As you see. There's never missed, by the way. And then now, let's do some Space Zebras. Rigo Zebras. Come on. Anything? Nah, not really. Let's try three sets of Zebras now. Now that he reset his attack speed on that. Nice, he bought Ballistic Missile. We're... Uh, we're really getting into uh, pressure him here. Do I try Rigo Zebras here, or I should wait? He went for a Reactor. Let's just try a little bit. He has to boost. Okay. I think we can force out Ballissi Missile with a couple of Rico Rainbow Bows. Not too many. Just a couple. Like, three sets. There we go. Instant. He has to sell a farm, too, to be super safe. That's great. That's great for me. I think we definitely go for one. One of these at minimum. So he sees it coming. The thing is, this Druid doesn't attack for a long time, so he has to go for those Druids right there, yeah. Do you think I can force a boost out here? No, not really. It's like, if he's gonna try to out late game me, then I have to make sure I have good eco. 1600 is okay, but I think I can do better than that. So let's switch to pinks and do one F Moab. He has to boost instantly. Holy crap. Really? Wait. That's interesting. He has to get defense for this. Alright. Now let's, uh,. Rush now that his boost is down. He's used two boosts out of three. By the way, let's do Rigo Rainbows. Oh, uh, come on. Okay. Forcing him to get a lot of defense here. But it's good for me. 
I'll just buy Fire Plane early. Central Market. Fair. Oh, crap. Uh, he uses UMT. Okay. Let me stop you. He might be all in here. In fact, I think you can just two shot the uh, FZMG right now, right? With the new, uh, the new buff to it. Or the nerf to it. It loses 1k damage, but I gotta be careful. I gotta be very careful here that I didn't do 1k damage already. So let me see. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can double ground zero this. Double ground zero. Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. This might be risky. Crap. Come on. Holy shit. I'm shaking. Uh. Crap. Um. I have to... Uh, damage this down. Come on. Come on. Come on. No! No! Come on. No! Oh, that was so close. That was so close. Ah. If I defend that, then that's a GG, but well played. I'm not disappointed, honestly. That was a very nice try, but fell a bit short, sadly. Freaking AI balloons got me there. Alright, so I'm just gonna play this. It worked last time when I was down 0-1. He's doing a Jutsu farm again. I'm not too uh, mad about it. Because I think I can beat it after nerfs. But of course, we'll see. Alright, so I can afford this in three boosts. 15 seconds. Let's see if he goes for anything against me. Nah, I can, I, I can defend this in time. That's good. So basically a mid-round buy for the Balloon Trap. Again, retarget it close. Uh, keep sending uh, spaced yellows. Uh, and I should retarget this soon. I think now is good. Epic $5 from the trap. Okay, bad news this game. He is uninstalling with this druid. Because I am very poor this game. Oh, I, I also sent yellows. That's an accident. Uh, whoops. That's going to hurt more. Because now I can't go for two farms, I don't think. Or rather, two two zero zeros. Maybe one, one two zero, but any more than that, and uh, I would be uh, a bit short of money. You know, let me still go for it. I'm screw it, screw it. A bit greedy there. Uh, let me send a couple zebras. It's back three. Okay, he just went for a uh... boost for a boost. Fair. All right. Let's do regrow uh, rainbows. Like that. Oh. I messed up. GG. Yep. Got me good. I, I misplaced the... I misupgraded the trap. 014. That, that pretty much sealed my fate. GG. Again, that's a risky strategy. I know I play it a lot, but it's still risky trying to survive the all out there. Rainbow is layered with uh, camo zebras. So yeah, now we fall onto the loser side. Let me see where the bracket is. So if I'm reading this properly, we are in loser is uh, round three. So uh, the loser at 27. So we're up against the winner of uh, you're here versus uh, fishy uh, whenever that finishes. So for now, we just wait.